Hey Aquarius, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you guys your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. I am showcasing a brand new deck. They're my Morgan Greer Tarot. So let's see what God Angels and Universe has for you Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles holding a sword <laughs> all right we see how this is gonna go we have the nine of pentacles oh lavish luxury come on pentacles eight of pentacles aquarius what you working on justice and the eight of swords and the king of cups is on the bottom is somebody trying to make you feel guilty about like wanting a better life or wanting you know to better yourself your financial situation um or is it that you are just closed off to love or to a particular love scorpio or libra and you are focusing solely on your pentacles hmm, which one is it aquarius Oh, I'm hearing that some of you guys become distracted by love. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting because that's what I do. But they're saying you lose all sensibility. So that to me just kind of sounds like, you know, when you're in love, it almost feels like a drug, like you're under the influence of love. Um, and it's a huge distraction for you guys. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may feel safer or better focusing on number one what you can control is what i'm hearing number two um you don't feel like it's taking over you and i feel like that's important to you um aquarius i mean it would be important to most people right like who wants to be under like who wants to feel like addicted or like they don't have any control of themselves Mm-hmm. Oh boy, look at that masculine energy. So we have the hanged man with the king of cups. You got three kings on the table in this cluster. Yeah, I do kind of feel like there is a love offer that's being presented to you right now, and it feels like you are making every excuse up under the sun why this is not a good idea. But with these three kings here, the three kings in religion and specifically Christianity. Three kings coming to vis visit baby Jesus. This is a lot of pressure, right? Um, I feel like whomever this person is, whomever this influence of love is, this emperor card, this person has it all. They're sexy. They're independent. They're very loving. They're kind. They're at the top of their game. This person is your damn Achilles heel, Aquarius. Um... But you're doing everything under the, sun, under the sun to unhook yourself to this person. To steer clear of the influence that love has over you. Interesting. Now, with the Eight of Swords here, that kind of says to me, that just means that the experiences that you had in love were shitty. And you think that every experience related to love is going to be just as shitty as your past experience. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. I mean, you got some good kings here. I mean, you're the king of swords. You didn't show up here. No, you're not saying it's good that you didn't show up, but it just kind of feels like what what angels and universe are showing me. It's almost like the, everything around you is like supporting this decision for you to just maybe dip your toe in the water, right? Just, just, just your pinky toe. You have the hanged man with the king of cups. So yeah, I do kind of feel like for you, love is on hold. It's like, listen, I'm not sacrificing the rest of my life. I'm not sacrificing anything related to love. You got the King of Wands with the Eight of Swords right now. It, you're, it, I, let me say it like this. Right now, you're very self-centered. You are taking care of yourself and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. It's about you. It's about your happiness. It's about your value, your worth, whatever the case is. Um, but also at the same time, that is the king of wands. The king of wands tends to be lusty and passionate, 
right? So it's almost like you want the physical love without the emotional love. Take that as it resonates. I don't feel like that's all Aquarius sisters, but I feel like that may hit home with some of you. Justice and the King of Pentacles. Um, they're also saying too, you could be managing several households, your household helping your sister out with her rent, paying for your parents. It just kind of feels like you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulder. But then what I'm also hearing is that this responsibility on your shoulder is also what justifies why you can't like get into the thick, the thick of it when it comes to love and romance. Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. That's child support to me specifically, right? I do feel like there is an object of your desire. It could be baby mama, baby daddy. Um, you could be trying to work on getting back together with them or just work on co-parenting. We have the Nine of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. I feel like there is someone who does want to give you love, but again, you're downplaying it. You're not interested. You got the Page of Cups with the King of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like, ah, uh, okay. So what I just heard was it's, it may, some of you may be downplaying it, but some of you at the end of the day just may not have time because you're working so much because you have so much um, responsibilities on your shoulder. But I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you perhaps maybe want to give more to love, but at least for right now, your other responsibilities are distracting you. So it's two storylines, right? One of them is you ain't got no time. You just working on your dollars and your 15 cents. The other one is you have, you have so much financial responsibility that you don't have the time to give to love or relationships. I also feel like there's a lot of love around you. Um, but again, it just kind of feels like that's, that gets pushed to the side, that gets bumped to the side for whatever this financial goal is that you have uh, going on. I feel like your career, um, retirement, um, paying off stuff, house, house, car, student loans. Right now, that's what's important to you. That's what you're focusing on. Kind of feels like love is, is on the back burner. What I'm also hearing too, now if a great love comes along, Aquarius, maybe you'll consider it. And it looks like, you, <laughs> it looks like that may be happening relatively soon. But I'm just saying, right now, for a lot of you guys, it's like, well, don't have a lot going on in the love area. Let me work on my finances and my, you know, long-term finances, my career, right? The other storyline is, listen, I don't have time for love because I'm too busy working on my money and my finances and my career. But I feel like, in all honesty, um, said, um, excuse me, Aquarius, love is about to sneak up on you. And, and, and it would be okay. Um... I have Virgo here, I have Pisces here, I have Taurus and Libra here. Libra, Taurus, so we got a bunch of Venus energy right here. Leo, Scorpio, and Pisces. So who's missing? Cancer is missing, ironically, right? Um, we have Virgo and Taurus, Capricorn is missing. Um, no air representation in court cards or Oh, no, we have Libra there. My bad, Libra. Um, okay, so fire sign, we have Leo. Okay, so you got all signs on the table. So, yeah, I feel like more than anything, um, it's almost like you feed your passion and lust, but you don't have any mental time or mental energy for love. And I do know what I just said, mental time or mental energy for emotions. You're an air sign. So you think first, it has to be processed mentally first with the air signs. Let me look at romance angels and see what we have for you. Because it kind of feels like you may have a couple of nice offers around you, but you're just not focused on them. I do kind of feel though one or two of them may stand out, right? And angels just said, you don't want another financial dream. You don't need another, another person you've got to uh, take care of financially. So I feel like whomever this love is that you may actually give a shot to, they have to be pretty damn financially independent. 
Taurus. I mean, you got, again, three kings there. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Well, <laughs> that's pretty clear cut. Universe saying, listen, you know, uh, in addition to, right? Because we're not saying to you, oh, drop everything. for Hell no. What we're saying to you is, you know, maybe you can carve a little bit of time for that page of cups. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Boy, the universe is in your reading today. Well, it is every day, every time I do a reading. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present memory. Present moments. <laughs> I said memories. Yeah, again, that's that eight of, eight of swords. Whatever you think about love and relationships, we've already graduated from the air Aquarius. It's a beautiful shit show these days. And we would love to have you, by the way. <laughs> Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Well, would you look at that? Yeah, like I said to you, you may be trying to work on uh, rekindling something with baby mama or baby daddy. Interesting. I hope it works out. You have three kings here. A lot of masculine energy. Um, we do have the empress here who's the queen of queens. So I just kind of feel like with all of this masculine stubborn energy, um, one of you guys are going to have to kind of quote unquote soften up in order for that to work. Let go. Ask your angels. I just heard let go of the past. Yes, confirmation. Not the right time. Ooh, okay. So it looks as though based on those cards that it may just need, you may just need a little bit more time and effort and divine timing, divine order for it to work out between you and this beautiful Venusian. Could be baby mama, baby daddy, Taurus or Libra. All right, my lovely Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Aquarius. Bye.